Hi everyone, welcome to Actively Family. This is a channel all about strengthening the family. And in this video, we are going over family emergency preparedness, specifically a three month supply of food. We'll go over what a three month supply of food is, why you should have one, and how to do it. First things first, what is a three month supply of food? A three month supply of food is a supply of food items that you regularly rotate through that can last your family for three months. Basically all it is is having a really stocked pantry. Your three month supply of food is referred to as a short term supply of food. Before moving on, let me explain the difference between a short term supply of food and a long term supply of food. Your long term supply of food consists of basic food staples like wheat, rice, and beans. These items are specially packaged to last a really long time, typically 30 years or more, and these items are sitting there as a backup plan in case you need it. Ideally, your long-term supply of food will last your family for a full year. In contrast, a three-month supply of food consists of food that is part of your normal, everyday diet. These food items are not specially packaged, it's just packaged the way you buy it at the grocery store. And unlike your long-term food storage plan, which is sitting there as a backup, your three-month supply of food is something that you're going to want to regularly rotate through to avoid spoilage. Ideally, your short-term supply of food will last your family for three months. If I was to give you an analogy, your long-term food supply is like a rainy day savings account. You don't want to be making a withdrawal unless you really need it. Your short-term food supply is like your checking account. You're constantly making withdrawals, you're constantly making deposits, and you want to maintain a sufficient balance. I'll link a video above all about getting a long-term supply of food. Okay, now that you know what a three-month supply of food is, let's talk about why it's a really good idea to get one. First of all, it'll save you a ton of time. Before we got a three month supply of food, or in other words, before we kept a stock pantry, it seems like we were running to the grocery store every other day for something that we had forgot or that we had run out of. But now that we have a three month supply of food, we're only going once a week to the grocery store to pick up those perishable food items like vegetable, fruits, milk and eggs, and maybe once a month to like a Costco to pick up those non-perishable food items. This has saved us a ton of time. Your three month supply of food is also going to save you money. If you run out of a food item, you're going to head to the grocery store and buy it at whatever price it's listed at that time. But with a three month supply of food, you are buying your food before you need it. So if you run out of a peanut butter, you have another peanut butter right there to replace it. This means that you can wait to buy the food item for when it's on sale at a lower price. This is going to save you a lot of money. Having a three month supply of food also brings peace of mind. If there is a disruption in the food supply chain, you're going to have that peace knowing that you have a three month supply of food of the items that are part of your family's normal everyday diet that you can continue eating until the supply chain gets back on track again. A final reason to have a short term supply of food is if there's ever a situation where you need to tap into that long term food storage, you're going to be able to draw from your short term food storage put the two together and it's going to make your long-term food storage taste a lot better and it's going to give it a lot more nutritional value. So your three month supply of food will supplement and enhance your long-term food storage in the event of an emergency. Okay, now that we got that background out of the way, let's get to the nuts and bolts of how to get a three month supply of food. One note to add here, we're going to go over how we do a three month supply. Just know that there are many ways to do this. Do what works best for your family. So one way to do a three month supply of food is to plan out your meals in advance. You could have a schedule where you're always planning well in advance the meals that you're going to eat. Or you could do a rotating schedule where every two or three weeks you're going to rotate through these specific meals. And you'll know exactly how much food you're going to need for three months because you have your meal or your meal rotation schedule planned out in advance. This approach did not work very well for my family. Most of the time my family has no idea what we're going to eat tomorrow, let alone three months from now. Another problem with this approach for us is that we eat a lot of perishable food items that won't last three months on the shelf. So let me show you what we did instead. It is really easy. 
First, identify the non-perishable food items that are a part of your family's normal, everyday diet. Unlike your perishable food items, like vegetables and milk and eggs, your non-perishable items will last long on the shelf. An example of a non-perishable food item is oatmeal. Second, you're going to want to figure out how quickly you consume the non-perishable food item. One way to do this is to look at the quantity of food in it and calculate how quickly you're going to do it. So for example, this has 15 cups of oatmeal in it and we eat two cups of oatmeal a week. So each bag is going to last us about two months. But a simpler way that we've found to estimate how quickly we go through a food item is if we're unsure how quickly we go through a food item, we'll just write the date with a Sharpie on the back of the product. And then when we use it up, before we throw the bag away, we'll see, oh, we go through this every couple of months based upon the date that we brought it home. You do not need to have mathematical precision with this. Just get a rough estimate of how quickly you're gonna use up the food item. Third, you're gonna to wanna to figure out how long the food item lasts. And for this, we use the best buy date on the food's packaging. I know that food can last past the best buy date, but we like to rotate through our food by the best buy date so we are eating it while it still has the highest nutritional value. Now that you know how much of a food item you eat and how quickly it expires, the fourth step is to calculate how much of this item you can eat before it goes bad and then stock up on the item with the food that you'll eat before it goes bad. In other words, don't just buy enough of the food item to last for three months. Instead, buy as much as you'll need and that you'll eat up before the best buy date. The reason why you're gonna to want to get more than three months of these food items that last longer than three months is to make up for the perishable food items that are part of your diet that you can't store as long on the shelf. That way, if there's a disruption in the food supply and you can't run to the grocery store to pick up those perishable food items, your three month supply of food will actually last you three months. For the final step in the process, when you've used up a food item, restock it, preferably when it's on sale. Doing this will keep your pantry always stocked up. So let me show you how this works for us. Here is our oatmeal container, and then we have three backup oatmeals. Technically, we probably could do a fourth bag of oatmeal because it lasts for about a year and we would go through four in a year, but our shelf space only gives us space for three and that is fine. This is enough oatmeal. So when we use up the oatmeal in this container, we're gonna take one bag and we will dump it in here. And that is gonna leave an opening on the shelf. And next time we are at Costco, we will pick up one of these. One thing to note here is we don't really create big long shopping lists. Everything has a place in our pantry and so you can just look right here at the pantry and see, oh, there should be a third bag of oatmeal here. Go replace it and then when we get it, we will put that third bag right here in the back and move everything forward so that the newest one is the back and the oldest one is up here in the front. Here's another example with our peanut butter. We like to have three levels deep of peanut butter. They come in those double packages that you get from Costco. And we are doing a little bit of an experiment on this one. You can see we have the date written here on top just so we can gauge um, how quickly we go through a whole set of six. Let me just show you one more example. Here are buckets that we use. We love using a five gallon bucket with a gamma seal lid. It is super easy to take on and off. And what we use these buckets for are our kind of our staple food items. We use these buckets to store rice, beans, sugar, flour, and wheat. We also have a backup bucket. So for example, when this item runs out of flour, you can see it is getting kind of low. We will move this bucket over and then put this one in its place. And then this bucket, we will head to the store and pick up another 25 pound bag of flour and stick it in here. And then that will become our bucket. So we are always rotating through the food in our buckets and also have a backup for each of these items as well. A few other pointers for you. 
don't get hung up on whether you have exactly a three month supply of non-perishable food items in your pantry. If you set up your pantry the way that we've discussed in this video and you go count up all the servings that you have on the shelf, I think you'll find that your pantry has enough food on the shelf to easily last your family for three months, if not longer. Another point to clarify here is that some items last a really long time. If I look at the expiration date on this canned chicken, it literally is going to last three years from now. If we were to fill up our pantry with three years worth of canned chicken, we wouldn't have much room for anything else on the shelf. So for these food items that last multiple years, use your best judgment and that judgment should be influenced by the amount of storage space that you have on the shelf. For my family, typically we cap things off at a year. So we would buy up enough canned chicken to last our family for one year, even though these canned chickens last for three years. Another note to make here is it is a good idea to incorporate the same food items that are in your long-term food storage into your short-term food storage. I'm not using the cans of rice in my long-term food storage in my short-term food storage. I'm buying a 25 pound bag of rice at Sam's Club at a much cheaper price than if I was buying 25 pounds of rice packaged in cans. But I'm still incorporating the food items, that is rice, wheat, beans, and oats into my normal everyday diet. It's a good idea to incorporate at least some amount of the food items from your long-term food storage into your short-term food storage. So one, you know how to cook it. Two, you and your kids are used to eating it. And three, you will have the spices and ingredients on hand to help those food items in your long-term food storage be even more tasty and palatable to your diet. A final point to make here is that having a three month supply of food is not just about making sure that you have enough food, it's just as much about making sure that you do not have too much food. If you set up your pantry the way that we've talked about in this video, you're gonna be eating your food at the height of its nutritional value and before any of the food expires. This avoids waste, something that we all want to do. The same principles that we've talked about in this video can also be applied to other aspects of your family's preparedness. You can have backups for other necessary items in your home, such as medical supplies, cleaning supplies, hygiene items, and a financial reserve. Well, that wraps up this video. I encourage you to get a three month supply for your family. It is a no brainer. It'll save you money, it'll save you time, and it will bring you peace of mind. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye.